You're watching Long Beach Local News. Welcome to Long Beach Local News. I'm Melissa McGinnis with your top stories this week, coming to you live from Wee Labs in beautiful downtown Long Beach. This week's news is in partnership with the Long Beach Rescue Mission. Pride Weekend just wrapped up yesterday with a parade down Ocean Avenue. This was the 33rd annual Gay Pride Weekend, and this year did not disappoint. We are so grateful. Happy Pride, everyone. Thank you for letting me show up every year and making me feel at home. I love you. This past week, we spoke to Franklin Sims from the Long Beach Rebellion. He walked us through the controversial Measure A, a tax increase that will be on the ballot June 7th. If this increase does pass, Sims says that Long Beach will have higher tax than cities like New York and San Francisco. You can view the interview in its entirety at longbeachlocalnews.com. And did you know in Long Beach, dogs over six months and cats over four months are required by law to be spayed and neutered unless meeting certain exemptions as listed at www.longbeach.gov slash ACS. With that being said, in the month of May, the City of Long Beach's Animal Care Services will be distributing free spay and neuter vouchers in person at the P.D. Pitchford Companion Animal Village to help offset the cost of the procedure, if not waive the fee completely. Visit longbeachlocalnews.com for more information and a list of participating veterinarians. And the Long Beach Rescue Mission is attempting to raise 300 pounds of coffee. They are currently low on this important start your day beverage and are asking for individual and or corporate donations to help restock their 10 pound per day need. The Samaritan House located at 1335 Pacific Avenue is able to accept your donations seven days a week. And with the latest sponsorships, the port has given almost a total of $800,000 in the current fiscal year, which began last October, for a total of 159 events representing a wide cross-section of the city and causes such as the arts, environment, social justice, and historic preservation. Some of the events and sponsorships included the Los Cerritos Wetlands Trust Environmental Education and Cleanup Program, the Women's Shelter of Long Beach Annual Fundraiser, and the AIDS Food Store Annual Reception. And until next time, Long Beach, go well and go Long Beach. Thank you for watching LBLN. Don't forget to connect online with our Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. For more information, go to our website, longbeachlocalnews.com.